r slash ask reddit by reddit and chill. What just makes 0% sense in 2019? Buying a GPS for your car. They're expensive af and you have to buy updates for them. It's ridiculous. Just use Google Maps. Yup. Car I bought a few years ago came with a GPS navigation system. I thought cool. I don't have to pull out Google Maps every time now. Turns out. It's many many years old and you have to pay $200 plus just to update the map every year. Still thinking the 1980s were 20 years ago. Mind blowing to think 1980 was 40 years ago. Indian people polluting their most holiest river. Like why? If you think it is holy. Then why are you throwing trash in it? Well. It's holy because it takes the trash away. Bad CCTV footage. HD cameras are so cheap nowadays and the storage is as pennies. You can get a decent low cost CCTV system. My buddy who works in IT was tasked with installing the camera so his boss could make sure him and his fellow employees were working at the office. That beach is 240x 360p. 16 fps. And can barely make out more than silhouettes. It's intentional. Trying to sell 2018 calendars. Just save it for 2029. People. Someone on LinkedIn messaged me regarding a job role, IT. We spoke for 2 hours I gave my CV. Asked requirements etc. Only to at the end hear are you a born British citizen? To which I said no but I lived here for 13 years. Oh sorry we only hire British born citizens. Is that legal? I don't think it would be in the USA. Imagine this conversation. Hey. Could you update our website? Sure. Brings website stack into this century. Gets a call from website owner. You need to change the website back. Some of my customers can't see the website and it's hurting business. When pressed. It turns out that her business was very senior oriented and a good portion of customers still use AOL Explorer. An internet browser discontinued over a decade ago. As someone who dabbles in IT in a field heavily populated by seniors. I got a big brain just from reading that. Let's also not forget where's information that's literally right there on the front page. You should have it on the front page. This website it badly designed. The fact that some people don't vaccinate their kids. We were supposed to have hoverboards and Mars colonies. Instead we have ISIS and anti-vaxxers. Future sucks. Having to dress up and drive into an office to do a job that could easily be done from home. I get it. You want to make sure your employees are actually working. But ducking seriously. Wouldn't you know by seeing the work hasn't been done? Why do I have to waste gas and time when the internet? You know. Exists. After having worked in a larger company and talking to other people who worked in larger companies. It is a marvel how much, or I should say how little, people understand what's going on in their company. Most people really just kinda do the day to day stuff and wait to go home. Meanwhile the company is wasting loads of money on poorly optimized workflow. My co-worker is on a different contract for a govt contract. Somehow it's almost 2020 and his company doesn't do direct deposit. He has to physically pick up his check every two weeks on Friday. Two ads on YouTube dot. People that still have ads on their videos but are also spending 10% of the video talking about their sponsors. How some sodas drinks have so much sugar in them. Like what would it taste like without the sugar? Did I actually need that much flavoring to mask it or do we need that much to taste something? The sugar masks the other ingredients like the sodium and carbonation that are off-putting by themselves. Conversely. Sodium and carbonation are necessary to offset the high amounts of sugar that would be if putting by itself. Consciousness. Not in comparison to being unconscious. But out of the trillions of animals on earth. How did I end up in this body? I could have been born a slave in some ancient culture. I could have been a cat. Bird. Or some insect that lived for 4 days. Why me? Why now? My egg could have split in the womb and I could have been a twin. What happened to his consciousness? I have three kids. My wife lost her pregnancy between kid number two and number three. I don't know if it was a girl or a boy. We could have had a kid number four. 
number 5, and so on. But we chose to stop. What about them? What would they have been like? How many great, or mediocre, people were never born? It seems that the set of possible conscious beings would be huge and the vast majority of them never have a being to walk around in. How the hell did I, or we, end up so damn lucky? True. These kind of shit scares me and amuses me at the same time. Like where will my consciousness go after I'm dead? Will it just cease to exist like when I'm sleeping or will it move to somewhere else? Go to wait more than 50 years to know the answers to those questions. Time. I will never be able to wrap my head around time. It must have started at some point. But. What was there before time? And was there anything before that? And before that? One day there was nothing. The next day we have a massive universe. I can't comprehend it no matter how hard I try. With our current understanding of the universe, it's not unreasonable to think that the Big Bang lasted practically forever. Since in such a high density point time would progress at billionths of billionths of billionths, and so on, of the progression we experience on Earth. Why there are certain foods for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Why is cereal a breakfast item? Why is it not normal to eat it for dinner? Why are chicken biscuits a breakfast item? Can't I have those for dinner? Seems appetizing for dinner. Pizza for breakfast is the best. Why is it frowned upon? Part of being an adult means getting to eat whatever foods you want at whatever time. Obviously if you eat only junk food there will be consequences. But you still can eat cereal for dinner or pizza for breakfast. I work third shift and when I get home in the morning I usually don't want breakfast foods. Though sometimes I will stop for a burger and a breakfast burrito. It's a yummy combo. My point is you don't have to let other people dictate what foods are appropriate to eat at certain times of the day. Eat what you want when you want. Just try to get decent nutrition from the things you do eat. My stepdad was hit by a drunk driver and blew both his knees apart. He eventually filed a lawsuit and won $500,000. But his health insurance company, which he had been paying a premium towards every month for 20 years, demanded he pay them back the money that they had spent on his medical bills. After doing that and giving the lawyer his percentage of the winnings, we were left with $25,000. Something isn't right about this story. Insurance is going to cover you regardless of your cash flow. If he was a multi-millionaire and happened to have the cash sitting around then they wouldn't be entitled to a claw back. Unless his insurance helped him sue. Which they will do. Edit. I looked it up. Insurance can earn the money if they are for medical damages since they were the offended party. If you got a chunk for pain and suffering or lost wages that is yours since you were the offended party personally. <laughs> Having to pay $2000 for my insulin, type 1. No choice. People dying because they can't afford medication or treatment. Good afternoon. I'm a MD from Mexico. Part of my training was made at Georgetown U at DC the biggest cultural shock was the prices of medication. Even from the same lab the price difference was outstanding. Being completely ignorant about laws, is it possible for you to export the insulin vials from here? Or just cross the San Diego Tijuana border and go to our version of CVS or Walgreens to just buy insulin? No prescription needed. God bless. The fact that I'm still alive. Your death can be arranged. Those customs cards you fill out by hand on a jet before landing. Why? The abhorrent treatment of women in many countries. Separating the coloreds from the whites. Detergent has evolved. Put them all in together. Yes. But if you mix them their colors will bleed together and that is wrong. We are still talking about laundry. Right? Using compact discs, CDs, for storing and sharing data. Why we have people in the United States who cannot get high speed internet. Sorry. Satellite doesn't ducking count. Yes. I am one of those people. Anti-vaxxers and flat earthers. Dumb ducks are arguing medicine and science because they bring nothing of value to this planet. Their only job is to host shit per se holoduck fest hun parties for, insert generic pyramid scheme company here. It's not a pyramid scheme it's a reverse funnel. 
At least their children will be super comfy in their LuLaRoe leggings while locked into their Amway branded iron lung with a partnership by Duterra. Aka the Du Amway TM, which just forcibly sprays a camphor eucalyptus oil into their child's body. It's all good though because Scentsy has the perfect candle that masks the scent of your decaying child called Scentsless. R slash Oddless Pacific. The fact that we still have 40 hours work weeks when we have technology doing work for us infinitely faster than when this concept was developed 100 years ago. Prior to about 40 years ago. Productivity and wages grew at fairly comparable rates. But since 1979. Productivity has grown at a rate 6 times faster than pay. This shit boggles my mind almost daily. People continuing to smoke. More accurately younger generations who start to smoke. You know the repercussions of it. There are no legit benefits. It's no longer cool. Why would you ruin your health and the health of those around you? I overeat. I've known alcoholics. Addicts. Smokers. The upside is the temporary good feeling you get. No matter how fleeting. Yes. By now we should have figured out. As a species. How to avoid this strong pull. But we have all sorts of psychological problems that we don't know how to deal with. Until we do. People are gonna do destructive things just to feel good for a while. Mail and rebates. How are these still a thing? It's an incentive to buy with a low percentage of actually having to cough it up. People will buy based on the rebate as if they're going to mail it in. Then most don't. Thus boosting sales the same as if they'd just discounted the item without costing the seller nearly as much as an actual discount would have. Nothing senseless about it. We are in a civilized era yet people are having to riot in the streets so that they don't get their organs harvested. I would say it is more civilized. The older I get, the more the world seem chaotic but, while it is actually getting more unstable than it was in the late 90s, it always be the case one way or another. Smoking. It's not cool anymore like it was in the 1970s. Gives you like a 50% chance of dying young. Everyone knows how bad it is. And governments tax the shit out of cigarettes so they're more expensive than ever. A neighbor of mine spends 10 bucks a day on smokes. But says he can't afford a new snowsuit for his ducking 6 year old. Security cameras with literally 4 pixels and 2 FPS. People saying global warming is not real. Be at it see old oat cdto day. All my thoughts are credit card related. In a world where we place so much emphasis on data security. Why are we just giving food servers our credit cards to disappear with for 5 minutes? When you sign for a credit card purchase. That shit is pointless. I'm at the point where I just draw random Mickey Mouses instead of anything that looks like my signature. It's so strange to me that a country like the US doesn't have chip and pin security. How people don't think a woman can rape a man. Finally someone agrees. I myself was molested by a female babysitter when I was 8. And my family doesn't believe me. Life. The current education system. Fentanyl is not schedule 1 and cannabis is in the US. Unbelievable. Term limits not existing for all levels of government in the United States. Some Democrats and Republicans have been in office longer than I've been alive, 32 years, and that's ducking ridiculous. School shooting deniers. Need I tell you more? I'm a school shooting denier denier. Those deniers don't really exist. Never met one. People who are still racist and homophobic. A boy my daughter was talking to informed her Friday that his father told him he can't date my daughter because she is mixed black. It doesn't matter that my daughter is in all honors classes and does a bunch of charity work. All that matter to him is her skin tone. 7 billion people using a non-renewable and non-biodegradable substance for literally everything. Humanity's reliance on plastic is so short-sighted. The fact that we've been to the moon and can't house everyone. We can house everyone. We choose not to. In the United States. For example. There are an estimated 500,000 homeless people. There are also an estimated 8.5 million vacant homes. If we gave every single homeless person their own separate vacant home. 94% of vacant homes would still be vacant. 
but nobody wants to pay for it. So we perpetuate the narrative that housing simply isn't available. Ducking like and subscribe.